What's up, Galaxy? I'm Gil Garcia from Bantha Soup, and it's a big day. So as you can see behind me, the Bantha tank is completely cleared out. What? It is so weird. My wall's are empty, the shelves are down. The Star Wars room is packed away. It's off for the good because we're moving to our new house. We just bought it. We're super excited. The Bantha tank is going to double in size. It's going to be amazing. So I get to pull out everything and just reset up all my stuff and I couldn't be more excited. So that's where we're at. That's what's happening in Bantha Soup. All right, so we're officially unpacked. If you take a pass through my kitchen, past the coffee bar, take a step down into the dungeon, you enter the new Bantha tank. So here's the new Star Wars room. I'm really excited. It's really almost tripled in size from what I used to have. Uh, this is where we play games, we watch movies, we entertain, we have some drinks, and just enjoy the greatness of being surrounded by nothing but Star Wars. I'm still trying to figure out how I want to really display everything. There's uh, some really good wall space that I'm going to utilize for everything. Uh, a couple windows that I've got to kind of work around, no big deal. Um, I just got to make sure the light isn't really shining on the figures or merchandise because I don't want it to end up fading out. But I'm going to repaint all my shelves, um, probably spread out my figures a little bit more so there's better visibility. It's going to definitely drop in some lights on top to highlight all the displays and dioramas and you know figures, vehicles. Um, got my ships all hung up. This is actually a setup for a wood stove fireplace. Um, don't have the wood burning stove. We've got a regular fireplace in the living room, but for right now, this is a great little mantelpiece for Vader and the Shock Trooper and the Big Mother Falcon. Um, picked up this nice little artistic R2 piece for Christmas. Um, got all the ships hung up, so I'm continuing to hang those up. I've got a few more that I've got to put up. But this side of the room, I've got more shelves with display dioramas, Dagobah, Cloud City, Carbon Freezing playset. Uh, put my custom Yavin 4 Imaginex playset over on this side. I think the first big project that I'm going to do is figure out how I'm going to light everything up. I'm sorry it's so dark right now, but I'm really going to put in some lighting on the on the ceiling to highlight all the display dioramas. You know, I like to set up my scenes. I got the Geonosian Clone Wars thing going on up top. This is the Tatooine. Uh, purchase of the droids, the cantina down below. Got the pit of Carcoon, Sarlacc pit right next to Jabba's palace. And it goes right on over to the droid factory playset so super cool um as you make your way go to the crowning jewel the bantha bar coming across to the side a couple more just pieces that i'm hanging up on the walls got the admiral akbar portrait rest in peace admiral um, here's a cool little uh, rug that i got welcome to the dark side as you enter through the back door to the bantha tank but this is my crown jewel. You know, I've always loved having bars in my house. Now I've got my very own Star Wars bar. So I'm hanging up my best and brightest pieces. Couple autographs, Timothy Zahn. There's my uh, pint glasses, shot glasses from Star Wars, of course. This is where I'm gonna set up the Ralph McQuarrie figures and the comic book figs. This is actually an awesome Christmas gift I got. It's a uh, big beer mug etched with the Mandalorian symbol, the Mythosaurus skull. But up top, got the pod racing scene going on. Here's the Rogue One, Krennic, Death Trooper, and uh, Jyn Erso, and just some more spectators. Here's a view from behind the bar with the wine glasses up top. And you can see you got the TV set up with the Battlefront 2. Uh, here's the bar sign I've got. I am a huge Rat Pack fan, so big shout out to Frank Sinatra. Dean Martin, Sammy Davis of uh, Ocean's Eleven poster. Um, there's my light switch. Got the Falcon on there with the light switch. Couple more pieces hanging up on the wall. Put my 12 inch Hoth figures above the TV along with some 18 inch Jack specific figs. This is a cool little feature. So there's some recessed shelving inside the wall so I can put my Xbox One along with all my kids video games and you know their movies and stuff. And Here's the Star Wars futon with coffee table. It's a custom R2-D2 quilt that my mom made me a long time ago. Galaxy far, far away. So, super cool. This is the room, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Any ideas, suggestions on what I should do, what you would do. 
Let me know what you think about the new room. Now that it's almost done, I'm going to be cranking out more videos. We just broke 100 subscribers. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, we would really appreciate a like on our video. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date on everything Bantha Soup. We do reviews. We build customs. We talk about everything Star Wars. And check us out on Facebook at Bantha Soup. Send us a comment. Send us a message. Send us some pictures. Give us a like. Let's talk Star Wars. Galaxy, thank you so much for watching. My name is Gil, and this is Bantha Soup.